In a world where the supermarket delivery drivers are the new mini celebrities, professionals at the top of their game are leaving their industries and applying for these sought-after roles. One local man, however, Jack, has managed to bluff his way through to the fourth and final interview. Can he pull it off? So, your call. Should I go for the NASA thing or just call clean? Go for it. All right. I'll give you a bell as soon as it's over. Thanks. Bye. Jack O'Leary. Let's go. Hello, Jack. I'm Fiona O'Sainsbury. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Uh, nice to meet you, Fiona. Did you say your name was O'Sainsbury? That's right. Supermarket royalty. Well, congratulations on making it to the final stage, Jack. This is really just a, a quick chat. Um, as you've already proven to us that you've all the skills we're looking for. Can you tell me what do you think sets you apart from the other three remaining candidates? Well, I believe that I have the energy and passion for the grocery shopping industry that can't be matched. You see, it's on my blood. My grandfather Joe had his own fruit and veg one, and he went everywhere around the northwest and further afield as far as Sligo, I believe. I never met him because uh, he passed on a few years before I came along, but he definitely left me his gene anyway. Now, I also set up the Dairy Big Shop WhatsApp group seven years ago, and it's gone from strength to strength, uh, both in numbers and in a way, I suppose, that it's become a kind of outlet for people who, you know, may be a little lonely in their lives. They're able to converse on the group chat. They sometimes go shopping uh, together. And we also provide a service where if someone uh, can't make it to the supermarket uh, for one reason or another, we'll actually deliver it to them. That all sounds great, Jack. I see you worked as an aerospace engineer for 10 years with NASA. Were they sorry to see you go? Oh, extremely sorry. They, they were indeed. Uh, but they understood. And, you know, I'm someone who doesn't live in the past. I'm someone who doesn't really look back. Onwards, I suppose, that's my motto in life. Must have been a fulfilling job, though. Very, very fulfilling. And I made friends there for life. But Fiona, for me, there's nothing more fulfilling than seeing the smile on the child's face or the elderly lady or gentleman when the delivery van pulls up outside their house. They know they're going to be eating their wee favourite dessert or their favourite dinner, you know. I was thinking about this, uh, how I could describe it best. And the way that I thought was, I'm a massive sports fan. Always have been all my life. I played most sports and I watch pretty much all sports except golf. I draw the line there. But I suppose what I'm trying to say is that uh, for me, the supermarket delivery driver is like the American quarterback. He delivers the ball to the end zone. Touchdown! You know, he gets all the glory. For me, the glory is seeing the joy in the recipient's face when I arrive at the door with their shopping, you know. Uh, now, Fiona, we both know there is a small place and this job everyone's talking about, who's left in the running as well as me. And from what I've heard, there's three people left, two ladies, a vet and a barrister and a doctor. Now, I know I'm up against it. So what I've done, hopefully, to try and swing it in my favour is... I've made a little video of me in action, out and about. So if you just press play there and have a wee look. Okay. 
Okay. Not the best day in the world, but I'm feeling good. Welcome to Jack's Big Shop. What a day this is going to be. But no me, I'll be back here anyway. Quick stop, super value. Nice bags these days, boys. Could be time for a coffee here, but uh, somebody took my spot there. No, I'll pull on here. Pull the reel. Unbelievable! It's what even a reduced section. It was about four quid. Ah, forget about it. Scandalous. That's Tesco done. Hey, I nearly got a great bargain there. I was over passing the reduced section and I was looking at these sweet chili lime infused salmon fillets. Absolutely beautiful. Reduced to 280 from 620. And I was looking at them and this wee woman stood beside me and says, They look lovely there, son. Hey, heart like a lion. Let her have them. Brady, eh? What a day. Awful weather. Doesn't bother me though. Oh, there's a wee Sainsbury's van away past. Hopefully, hopefully. On our way to Asa, Straban in the county of Tyrol. Strabadi! What's Asa done? Tyrone? This is where I get my eggs and blocks and stuff during the winter. So if you're down this road, Pull in. Hey, hey. 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 Shop local two lads. 30 eggs, 4.50. Where would you get that? Well, that's Tyrone done, Derry done. The big shop, three county. Let's hit Donegal. Buncrana, here we go, boy. We protein bar, keep the energy levels up. Have to keep the energy levels up when you're doing the big shot. That's a wee tip for anybody watching now too. We're out bag honestly. I tell you what though, is there no Russian bunk crana boy? Slow, slow and slower. Of course a tip for them alone. 159. What a bar. That's a wrap, Jack. That's a big shot. Fingers crossed, couple of days she said. Right, I'll talk to you later. Bye bye, bye. Sean okay? Yeah. That's you there, buddy. That's great. What are you, man? Uh, 850 is grand. That's fine, just keep it to yourself. Settle, man. Do you want to check everything's there? Uh, and then drop a bag so I can meet with it? Sure, man. Cheers. All good, my man? I think I'm a snicker short, but it doesn't matter. I'll check if you are in a minute. Hi. Nice place you have here. Look at your face. Are you the guy that could down to the last two for that big delivery job, eh? <laughs> As you can see, I didn't get it. I think I saw something about it on the socials. Sorry about that. What happened? I mean, ah. he's the personality for it. You know what? I can't exaggerate the old CV a bit too much. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've done all right here, hey? You know, do you mind if I ask you what do you do for a living? I'm a double man, I'm retired. At your age? I have a 
worked for 20 years over in America there, but just back here a year. I heard a bit of a twang in the old accent there. Yeah. 20 years over there. I was only over there the once now. New York, Paddy's Day for a week. Do you mind if I ask you what you did over there? Are you alright, man? I worked for a company. I don't know if you know them. NASA. UK. Hello? I'll just check out Snickers uh, for you. Nothing there, man. What's that all about? <laughs> 